everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to upgrade Windows Vista to Windows 11 now I am doing it the unsupported way but that is okay here's what I want to see I want to see if the gadgets on the right hand side of the screen stay loaded when you install Windows 11. Now in my previous videos I discuss looking for a third party set of these that mimic the Windows ones but we are going to see that. So without further ado let's get started. Alright, so I am going to go to computer here and we are going to, oh, I forgot it's still reading it. There we go. It's asking me setup.exe. It's asking me do I want to allow it or cancel it. And of course I want to allow it. It's telling me there's no disk. So what I got to do now is right click in So I'm going to close the program. All right, so come comes back. I'm going to go to the computer here. This will take a little bit of time to do. Alright, there we go. So if I right click, open, there we go. Uh, sometimes for some reason Vista will do this really weird quirk to where I could double click it the disk and it won't open it up but if I double click set up here it'll work so let's click that we're gonna allow so it's not gonna exactly allow me to do this But, if open, I should be able to run as administrator. This is the 64-bit operating system. So let's do an update. All right, so that won't work. So what's happening here is is it doesn't like to be updated for some reason. Now I have to figure out why. But, let's see something here. I could add a user.
create a new account make it administrator create account so now what I do click the arrow log off we'll go into test 2 and we'll see what happens there we go now what we'll do is we'll go to computer and I'm still getting the error message so what this tells me is the two operating systems are so different from each other that you cannot go directly from Windows Vista to Windows 11 because of the operating system itself. This is a little quirky so that's why I'm having a hard time but let's see what happens when I copy it and now we are going to see so I will come back after it has copied and see what's going on Alright, so I copied the files from the disk to the desktop so it's going to run off the hard drive. So let's get started. Alright, so couldn't locate it. Alright, so let's see here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in my external here. And we're going to try to blow off the disk there. There's something on it. And we are going to try to load it that way. So if this works, that means I got a problem with my drive. Got to wait for it to come back. It's not like in the external for some reason. All right, so there is a huge issue here All right. so the only way that this will work is to go to Windows 7 and then to Windows 11 that's the only way that this is going to work. Unfortunately, I don't like that either, but unfortunately, that's the way 
it'll work. But before I confirm that, I am going to try something different here. There we go. It's not liking this either. It's unfortunately it's Windows Vista. Otherwise, this would work just fine. So there's a couple ways I can do this. Actually, one way I can do this. Here's what I'm going to have to do. I am going to have to go to Windows 7, then go to Windows 11. That's the only way that this is going to work. Unfortunately, Vista and Windows 11 are not compatible, unfortunately. Even though I did get Windows 7 to go to Windows 11. So, unfortunately, you can't go directly from Vista to Windows 7. Uh, excuse me, Windows 11. And as much as I would like to have done that, that's not going to work. So, what I am going to have to do is install Windows 7, upgrade Windows Vista to Windows 7, and then do the Windows 11 install. So, what I want to do is I want to keep the gadgets on and see if they work in Windows 11. So, anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.